Okay guys, so it is, as you can see, that time of year, therefore I am doing the fragrance video. I've been promising this fragrance video for a while, I'll try to make it quite short this time if I can, or short descriptions as we go through, and hopefully you'll find something you like. So before I go through the new fragrances and the fragrances you've not seen before, I will say that on the Black Friday just gone I did get a deal from one of the sites, the All Beauty site, which is worth a look at, and I ended up with this, which is the Bentley Beyond Collection, the Vetiver, Wild Vetiver. It's a beautiful box, it's sort of a leathery covered box, and you've got your fragrance inside. Very similar to the Penhaligons, in fact it's sort of a greeny colour to it, which is quite nice. So it's quite a nice bottle, quite weighty. Um, it's 100 millilitres, but it's got quite a bit of glass at the bottom. There you go. It's got the Bentley logo in it. It's very nice. Very, very good deal on Black Friday. I got it for probably, I don't know, way less than half its original price. A lot less than half its original price. Um, and it's a really nice fragrance. I really like this. This one does last all day. So we'll move on to the new ones and the new fragrances I've just recently got. This time I'm going to start off with the not so good one. In my first fragrance video I did, I think it was the first or the second one, might have been the second one, I did Inicio's Oud for Greatness and it wasn't that good. It's an expensive fragrance and wasn't that nice. So this time we've moved on to Oud for Happiness. I wanted to try this one because it, again it's had some good reviews, the bottle looks really nice, it's a very expensive perfume but to be fair, it's like the other one, it's very strong and it's not a very nice smell. But no, it's very much an acquired taste. I don't recommend this one to anyone, unfortunately. So have a look on the other reviews, but I'm not a fan. This one is actually a really nice smell. There are other ones that are sort of part of their gold series, gold black series. Um, this is part of their normal range. The Rehab's really nice. It's actually quite a nice, pleasant, fruity smell. I really like this one. This one is a nice smell. Again, it's a last all day one. It's a shame that the others aren't so nice. Not against Inito fragrances at all, because as I said, they make some really nice ones. This one is one of them. So this one is definitely recommended. I like this one. Now, in one of my previous videos, I have done a Diptyque fragrance before, which was the Diptyque Tempo. This is a Diptyque... Kyoto, um, nice looking bottle, nice looking sort of pouch, it comes in a little fabric pouch. Again, it's not ridiculously expensive. The last one, the, the Tempo, didn't last all day, it's quite weak. This has sort of a similar issue, it's not a laster, but it's quite feminine, I would say. More like a perfume than a um, cologne. I think it's an all year round smell, it's quite a nice smell. Um, again, look it up. As with all my fragrances, I will have links down below so you can get the samples or you can buy the originals from the shops. Again, places like All Beauty, Notino, Boots, Harrods, Selfridges, all those sort of places that sell these fragrances. And have a good look. And um, as I said, if you can get samples, better try samples first. But this one is quite a nice fragrance. You wouldn't be upset if you bought a full bottle of like this. It's quite nice. So, Zeroff, Casmarati Friero. The box looks like a bit of a Mexican type thing. It looks like one of those sort of Mexican tequila type bottles or something like that. I hadn't heard of this before, not seen them before. Seen a few reviews. This is definitely a, a sort of a manly type smell, um, more adulty smell. Again, by the bottle, you can tell. I think the bottle is sort of a acquired taste and a certain type of person that would buy it. I think probably more wintry, this one. I don't think it's a summer smell. But it's a nice smell, and I would, again, another one, get a sample, definitely worth a look. Um, if somebody bought it for you for Christmas, you wouldn't be upset. It's a nice smell. It's well put together. This one does last quite well. And, yeah, again, recommended. Emerald Betrayal for Man. I think you can see from the picture from the bottle, I quite like the bottle. If you've watched any of my vlogs, you'll know that I'm into sort of this iridescent sort of rainbow -y colours. Um, the bottle looks fantastic. The smell's quite nice. It's quite strong. It's very, and it's got sort of like, a, it's a bit like lavendery, to be fair. There's a lot of strong smells in it. But I'm not overly sure. I don't know, again, I think it's a unisex fragrance. Although it says for man, it smells very like a perfume when you've got it with you and when it's on. It's not so much of your normal men's fragrance or an aftershave type smell. It's a laster. This will last all day again. It's not too bad. It's okay. I quite like this one. Again, it's a nice, it's a nice smell. Um, but it's not over the top and I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy it, but it's not bad, it's quite nice. 
So I ventured into the Aqua de Palma range of colognes and fragrances. Aqua de Palma do a load of fragrances. They're very well known. There's an awful lot of them. Very big range. And with even within products, you see a bottle of something. You think, that's nice. And then there's like 10 or 12 different variations of that one product. So it's quite a difficult one to buy from. This is the Colonia Essenzia. It's an eau de cologne. It's difficult. I said, look on the labels. The labels on these things are a nightmare to try and buy. But... There's a, there, you see the name everywhere, so I thought I'll give it a go. This is quite a strong, quite a pungent smell to it. It's quite, it catches you in the nose. Um, it's a nice sort of a cool, I mean, maybe a bit like a Davidoff type smell. It's a cool sort of sea breezy, summery smell. Again, though, with them, there's do so many in the range. It's difficult to tell which one's going to be better or not. But the one I've picked, I think it's quite a good fragrance. I think you'll probably like it. Another Tom Ford fragrance. I have done a re previous review of a couple of Tom Fords. I did Tom Ford Noir and the Tom Ford Oud Wood. This is white patchouli. Now, I've said before in my fragrance reviews that I like patchouli. It's a nice smell. This is sort of patchouli. There are other mixes in with it. It's a very pungent, very strong smell. Again, it's a nice looking white bottle. It's hard to describe. It's got, you can smell the patchouli in it, but it's got, a, I don't know, I don't want to be rude, but it's, you get that sort of, the original hit to your nose is that sort of like a white spirit type smell, very strong paint strippery type smell, but then it wears on really nice and it's actually quite a nice smell overall. So I'm being rude by saying that. I, I don't really mean it, but it's that sort of, you know, when you get that sort of hit of smell, it's quite strong, quite hits you in the nose. It is quite expensive. So again, it's one of those things, get a tester or try it somewhere first. I think there are nicer fragrances with Petroleum and Mix. I think Petroleum on its own probably not the smell I like. If you go back to one of my reviews with the Penn Halligan's um, cousin Matthew, that's only got three flavours or three smells in it. One of them's Petroleum, and that's a really, really nice smell. So this is okay, but I'm not overly sure. It just on its own, it's a little bit too strong. <music> Now I'm moving into more realistically priced fragrances and more the sort of affordable fragrances. As I said, you will see in Boots, Superdrug, places like that. This is the Versace Dylan Blue. Now I've got Versace Eros, as you know. The Versace Eros Parfum is a really nice smell. It's one of my favourites. I love it. I really do like it. This one, again, is a very similar looking bottle. Very nice. This is a different smell than the Eros. It's got a slight hint of the similar to it, but it's slightly more muted smell. Um... I think I still prefer Eros, to be honest with you. And if you can get Eros rather than the Dylan Blue, I would probably get Eros out of the two. But it's a nice smell. It's different. And it's not something you've had before. So, yeah, it's not a bad. I quite recommend it. And it's all right. So, another fragrance that a lot of people have heard of before. This is Paco Rabanne Million. But this is a Privé edition. Now, I have been told, and I've been trying to look for it myself, that it's actually quite difficult to get hold of at the moment it's a little bit on the rare side or hard to find side if you know the smell of Paco Rabanne Million and Lady Million and they also do other versions of it then this is the Privé version it's a different look I mean it comes in a brown bottle and a brown packaging rather than the gold that the normal million comes in like the gold bullion bar the fragrance itself is sort of like an orangey color so it's an orangey dark browny orange colored fragrance and this smells like million but better million if you know it a lot of people wear it it's quite common i suppose really it's become a common fragrance so the privé version isn't it's a different smell again for me it's got a bit more patchouli smell to it but it's it smells richer it does smell more exclusive I've never bought Million myself. I know a lot of people have worn it and a lot of people have got it. It's one of those things that a lot of people used to get given for Christmas presents, that sort of thing. Definitely recommended. I definitely like the smell of this. I probably wouldn't buy it myself because I've got so many others now, but it's not a bad smell. I quite like this. Over the normal Million, don't buy the normal Million. Go for something different. If you get the Privé, you'll be probably quite happy. So I'm finishing off. The last one is a Parfum de Mali fragrance. Now, I've done Parfum de Mali previously with the Greenlee. Greenlee I had quite a while. I've worn it a few times. It's a nice smell. It lasts. If you get it on a shirt or any clothing, it does last for days and days and days. And in some cases, that's a little bit overpowering. So I've gone for a different one this time. But again, it's a really nice fragrance. This is the Leighton. This one they call a Royal Essence. So it's Leighton Royal Essence by Parfum de Mali. Again, it's a lovely smell, really nice smelling fragrance. 
it does last all day it's a very long lasting one and again you want to try and keep it off clothing if you can try not get it onto your shirt or whatever you're wearing because it will stink for a long time and it gets quite strong and it can be a little bit overpowering but on the skin it wears in and sort of dries out during the day and you get a few different smells during the day and that makes it a really really nice fragrance quite popular with an awful lot of people at the moment so definitely one of the better ones and again out of the path on the Marley fragrances between this and Greenlee I do prefer the Greenlee personally but apart from the Marley you can't really go wrong they're all very nice fragrances so guys thanks for watching hope you liked the review if you do please hit the like button down below please think about subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified when i upload the next load of videos thanks again bye bye